Hello and welcome to Kya Lagra Market, our daily program on Nifty, Bank Nifty and USDNR. Uh, so, uh, interesting day today, at least um, no more speculation on what is the Fed likely to do and not likely to do. That is <coughs> safely behind our uh, back and it is uh, in the past now. Now that the Fed event is over and the market is showing some fresh momentum, let's see what is most likely to happen. <clears throat> tomorrow and more, more importantly let's see what to do <clears throat> regardless of what the market chooses to do right so what do we do in the, here we look at charts we look at uh, <clears throat> uh, we look at open interest we look at FI data and we try to form an informed opinion on what exactly is the market likely to do tomorrow and how will we react to it right so hi 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 everyone hi uh, market will go up and up <laughs> Somebody is asking, how are you? Yes, man, I'm very good. I, I'm, I'm going to act like I'm normal. So, but, uh, but anyway, but, uh, yes, Music Man is asking, market cup girega? That is a very good question, right? Fir se aaj just baat badalge. But let's be honest, right? We, uh, we saw this uh, yesterday, right? Because uh, we saw this yesterday. So... What did we see yesterday? Uh, sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. So we uh, saw yesterday that the market was forming a bullish engulfing pattern above 100 DMA uh, on both time frames. So, so one of the things you we should all practice doing is <clears throat> at the time of closing, right? Somewhere around, make it a habit, right? Somewhere around 3:15 PM every day look at the market at a daily time frame see which candle is being formed so if you had looked at the market on a daily time frame yesterday at 3 15 pm this is what you would have show, seen right you would have seen um one second, one second. i'm so sorry one second So, sorry, sorry, so, sorry, I'm home alone and kind of babysitting. So, so the, the important point is, um, if you had looked at the market at 3.15 p.m., you would have seen that the market is forming a bullish engulfing candle on a uh, daily time frame above 100 DMA and above the closing of the middle of this upward trending smaller time frame candle, right, uh, which was the same with <coughs> Bank Nifty. So yesterday's analysis, we had written that Nifty made a kind of bullish engulfing. Why kind of? Because it was not a very big bullish engulfing. But both of them were bullish. Put addition and call unwinding were suggesting bullish. FIA data was suggesting bull bullish. But of course, we did not have FIA data at the time of closing of the market. We only saw this at the end of the market. Right? So, um, so we know that... Um, so we know for a fact that market was looking bullish from the charts and from the open interest of course we did not know that from the FIIDI data right so so that was our analysis for yesterday and if you had looked at the market at 330 probably we wouldn't have uh, uh, shorted the market right uh, but our analysis again was that maybe it's a good idea not to trade but we also said that the resistance it is 16750 is clean buy so re even if you did not have a trade yesterday Today, when the market was consolidating above 16,800, there was a very good 100 odd points to be captured by selling a 16,800 put or by buying a 16,800 call or even doing a spread or a future. It was not a very difficult market to date. Of course, I had biases, so I had to get out of my last bits of shots I had done, the unbooked. So I, I roughly gave around 25 to 30 percent of my old shots back to the market. Uh, it feels very nice so now i officially have no positions but 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 i mean but i'm probably looking to add if it goes higher right but that is we are getting ahead of ourselves let's look at what is the market up to these days one of first of all we are at, towards the top end of an upward trending channel we are above 50 dma we are above 100 dma we are above uh, we are nearing 200 dma this is very important 200 DMA is daily moving average is somewhere around 17,050 and as we all know it's a very very strong resistance I mean, sorry strong level right here's one more important thing tomorrow most likely market will go up why because first there is a bullish engulfing candle then there is a confirmation candle to bullish engulfing 
usually when there's a bullish animal peak followed by a confirmation candle there's also a third wave right one two three japanese candlestick techniques always talk about three movements the candle confirmation and the third move so uh, the third move is likely going to happen tomorrow and tomorrow's candlestick is going to be extremely interesting <clears throat> because tomorrow is also a weekly expiry so let's see what is the weekly expiry looking like right so we can also see that somewhere around 17,000 and 50 odd levels this is important there is also a 50 weekly moving average and 50 weekly moving average is also usually a slightly strong support level because we can see here right from the 100 weekly moving average nifty had bounced back uh, 50 weekly moving average is a very <coughs> observed level usually uh, in fact if you know, people look at it that way it will become right but uh, uh, and as Pratyush is saying, US GDP data came today and market ignored it to rally. I mean, we don't know, right? Kuch bhi ho sakta hai, right? Uh, bar trader is asking, why did you go short today despite having a bullish view? Yaar, I do a lot life in life. I mean, I, am, I was indeed short term bearish, short term bullish, but I mean, I, I can't trade frequently because of other commitments. So I just do something and forget it, right? So in the sense that, my my long term call shots are almost like investment decisions so i just hold on to them so i mean the funny part is that after all of this i'm still you know reasonably happy with whatever i got so i mean it's just the trading style right you can't have all like if you have a job which requires serious amount of uh, uh, commitment it's difficult to do intraday trades and 100 200 point move it will just kill your focus so which is why i'm stuck to whatever i'm doing uh, it helps me you know uh, look at job and not to not be too worried about uh, positions so this is a weekly candle uh, then the monthly candle monthly nifty is a bullish engulfing but here's the catch uh, this is a bullish uh, 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 inverted hammer uh, sorry bullish hammer I'm not sure if this is going to be a proper bullish engulfing because it's it's not like a real bullish engulfing right bullish engulfings normally happen at the end of a trend this is not really a trend trend these are just three candles which were formed so i'm going to ignore monthly because tomorrow is also monthly candle but even then i'm not going to take it seriously but we have to keep in mind two facts one is we are approaching 200 dma two is we are approaching 50 dma therefore i won't be surprised if nifty takes a little bit of a breather here right i'm not saying ki boss ho gaya short maro of course that's not my intent but i'm just saying that 17000 plus levels could be a point of you know not doing anything right so that is point number 1 bank nifty also similar story but bank nifty has gone back into bullish territory there will be a confirmation candle to this very highly likely so let's wait for that candle here right um, finally going to dollar dollar for the first time is showing some kind of token weakness <clears throat> right i've never seen dollar become weak dollar is also below three hourly moving averages all three hourly moving averages it is below 50 100 and 200 hourly moving averages so dollar can give some sort of short opportunities here although again right in the daily time frame it's still a buy on dips because all of these zones right all of these zones here are full of uh, supports the question is where do you buy you buy at a point where you find a reversal right so if you find any kind of reversal you can think of long dollar but fundamentally the trend is still up there's no question that the trend is still up isko reversal nahi bolte. this is a short term dip right so that is the dollar current so now let's look at uh, oi charts right So, OI charts of next expiry. Uh, nothing much, right? Uh, kuch, uh, little bit of call, little bit of put. 16, 800 has some puts, but that doesn't mean anything. But 17,000 has a lot of calls. 16, 800 has a lot of puts. Early signs, this is going to look a little divided between 17,000 and 16,800. PCR is high, but that is all coming from the 16,700, 800, all of these levels. But at 17,000, there is as much OI at 16,800. 
So that's point number one. Finally, let's look at the most important data, which is FII DII data. FII DII data, FII has now 1 lakh calls and 60,000 puts. We don't usually see this. Normally, it is ULTA. So, now we have legit reached a point where FIIs have more puts than calls and that is because today, but today's activity you can generally ignore, right? Because this is the expiry day. But FIIs have bought 1800 crores in cash and 1600 crores in, uh, sorry, 1600 crores in cash and 1800 crores in future. So, let's just summarize everything, right? Nifty, uh, likely to test 200 DMA at 17,000 plus levels and 50 WMA at 17,050 plus levels. Option chain early signs of 16,800 puts and 17,000 calls. And let's not forget one thing, right? Now, 16800 will act as a support. Why? Because it's a swing uh, level which was broken, right? So now, 16800 is act, uh, going to act as a support. PCR is 1.3, but this is early days. And it is coming from strikes below 16800. Uh, what's the FIA option data saying? Buy call, sell put. Uh, and 2x calls as puts outstanding which is bullish now finally let's go to futures data 1700 cr basically 1500 cr plus by bullish same with the stocks verdict is market is Okay, verdict should not be market is up. Right here, everybody knows market is up. Like, what is there in it? 16,800 is the new support. 200 DMA of 17,000 plus is the new resistance. Watch the 200 DMA for price action. See, what will happen here? It's not easy to say, right? Yeah, Nifty is so much right? In the sense that it's almost up 10% from 15,200. Now, see, the thing is this, right? Sometimes things go up, sometimes things go down. But it's not like that it will run away from one hand. It will consolidate a little bit. It will probably come back to 17,000. Maybe it will just drift down a little bit to 16,800 and then finally move up. Uh, now, my point is, see, it maybe it will go to 17,500. Maybe it will go to 18,000. We don't know that. But the point is, Will it just keep on going one by one, right? That is where trading lies, right? If you see that 17,000 has some kind of a resistance, then you should play that resistance by selling calls and wait for it to come back to 16,800. We know there's a support. If that support plays out, we have, we can get out of the calls, right? Basically, 17,000 is now a resistance. Uh, 16,800 is now a support. So it can pause, come back to 16,800. Now, when it comes back to 16800, you can again see key boss kya hoga, right? In the sense that, what will it do at 16800? You can see if it's going to be bullish price action, you can be bullish and buy. If it breaks 16800, which is an important swing level, right? Because you can see this here, right? Today's open was at that swing. 16800 is where today it opened. So, this is our first support. So, let me also do that, right? I'll just write. So, what's the zone now? 200 DMA is likely to act as a, but it, maybe it won't, right? In the sense that tomorrow, up to pata chalega, depending on the price action here. If there is rejection, we'll go slow. If there's no rejection, we'll go, we'll look at it accordingly. But right now, the question is, and also you have to be careful about this channel. Do you want to bet that ekdam se jaake ye 17,000 jaha pe bhi jayega, jayega, right? I mean, that's not the logical way to trade. So, Probably I am going to take it a little easy now. I don't want to because let's not forget it is still lower lows overall. Of course, this high is broken. That's a very important thing. So if Nifty is able to hold 16800 for some time, we can see much more bullish action in the days to come. But 
यहाँ पे जाके आप बाई करोगे इट्स गोइंग टू बी ट्रिकी मे बी द गुड पॉइंट टू इफ यू मिस द रैली मे बी द गुड पॉइंट टू एंटर द रैली इज लुक इट वॉट हैपन्स एट सेवेंटीन थाउजेंड इफ इट ब्रेक्स एंड कंसोलिडेट्स यू कैन गो लॉन्ग देर इफ इट रिवर्स फ्रॉम सेवेंटीन थाउजेंड लुक इट वॉट हैपन्स एट सिक्सटीन एट हंड्रेड सिक्सटीन एट हंड्रेड पर जाके आपको फिर से एंट्री मिल रहा है तो अगेन यू कैन बी बुलिश और इफ इट ब्रेक्स बिलो यू कैन बी बेरिश बट यहाँ पे जाके इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बिकम अ बुल इट्स अ लिटिल ट्रिकी द पॉइंट टू बाई इज एट सिक्सटीन एट हंड्रेड इफ देर इज प्राइस एक्शन देर मतलब ऐसा नहीं कि सिक्सटीन एट हंड्रेड इफ इट कम्स बैक राइट अवे यू बाई राइट लेट इट कम बैक टू सिक्सटीन एट हंड्रेड सी वॉट हैपन देर एंड देन टेक अ कॉल वॉट यू वॉन्ट टू डू राइट डोंट चुमा बाई जस्ट बिकॉज इट कम्स बैक सिमिलरली सेवेंटी टू हंड्रेड वेट फॉर वॉट हैपन देर If it goes there and if it gets rejection, then we can think of selling. But these are two important levels to watch, and of course there is FII data, all of these boys to help you there, right? Uh, so uh, quickly, quickly reading uh, the comments. Yep. So as Anas is asking Hindi, bolo please. Anas, yar Anas, why Anas? There is sensible Hindi channel. Sagar is such a lovely man doing all this analysis for you. You should go. Oh, now it's a ten thousand subscribers also. It's pretty epic, right? So please look at Sagar. See, look at see, look at me, right? I don't even have more than two expressions, but Sagar has so many expressions. Sagar sometimes smiles. Sagar sometimes poses like this. Sagar sometimes poses like this. Sagar poses like this. Boss, इतने poses में कौन photo डालता है आपके लिए? So please go to Sagar's Hindi channel and watch it in Hindi, right? So <laughs> that's our <clears throat> Parmeshwar is asking how much did I lose today? Yar, I, let's just say that I lost. It's not inflation and USD are just. <laughs> it's not my biggest loss. <laughs> but but okay. So I lost. Um, not too much enough to you know smile and do the show at the end of the evening right so so yeah this is our uh, analysis for today uh, we'll see you again tomorrow uh, sunday night with our analysis of su sunday night uh, so thanks guys again for joining it's it's uh, wonderful to do this every day with all of you so we'll see you again on sunday let's see what market has in store for us uh, so on that note i'll take your leave please take care and